Clements will jump center for Case. And Emery will win the opening tip. Emery in the road blue, trimmed in white. Case in the home whites, trimmed in navy blue. Julian Person did a nice job of altering that shot by Alex Grevin. Well, Person he, leads the team, Ed. Well, and I think he got a piece of that, Ron. With 30 blocks, so that would be 31. And they still gave the ball to Case when it went out of bounds, but I think Person got just enough of it to redirect it. Case may have gotten a turnover there. That's Julian with the basketball, not a Clements from South High School in Willoughby. Brian gets it back to Julian. The left-hander kicks it out. Another kick, that's Austin Fowler for three. Clement and the long Dewey. rebound comes out to Jordan Dean. Clement working inside with the big slap. Screen and roll, Brian Clements off the glass, missed it. And Emery gets the rebound, that's Michael Friedberg who averages seven rebounds per game. Friedberg, and he's gonna draw an early foul. Dane McLaughlin gets the early foul. Alex Foster off the bench, 6'8 sophomore forward from Caitlin Gabell High School in Portland, Oregon. Friedberg, nice feed inside. Shot was missed, second one was blocked. McLaughlin got the block, Clements came up with it, jump ball, Case will get it. And McLaughlin, or check that, Clements got either a finger or a elbow to the mouth. Checking to see if Clements had any blood from the elbow. Brian has, I think, his fan club in attendance <laughs> tonight. There's a section of uh, guys in, on the student side who've got an oversized fat head of Brian Clements. I'm sure our <laughs> cutaway camera will get a shot of it at some point tonight. Is a uh, There it is, right there. Brian's got the, um, who wears that hairdo? Is it, is it uh, Yannick Noah wears that hairdo? Yeah, it's part of it. The Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls player. Forward, yeah. Nice Good. dribble drive by Michael Florin. 2 0 Emery. Two minutes gone. Just about two minutes gone in this opening half. Dean to Clements. And that pass was swatted right back at Brian out of bounds by Emery. Case is here with. Three games on the road to start conference play. Beat Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh in a tight one, 76-73. And then lost both in Gotham and in Beantown a weekend ago. Beat inside to Fowler. Fowler on that right block. Austin wow. doubled down on, and he well, lost he, the basketball. Yeah, he got grabbed from a, behind a reach around, and Fowler got locked up, couldn't go anywhere. Jordan Dean's going to pick up a foul. Alex Grevin is going to, actually it'll be Michael Florin will get the basket and the foul. One foul on Jordan Dean. And Florin makes the three point play. He's got five, he's got all five points for Emory. Eagles averaging 85 points per game, holding their opponent to only 70. Twelve on the shot clock. Emory's defense on the men's side very much like the women. They'll bait you into a bad shot. Well, they swarm the basketball, too. It's almost like there are eight of them on the floor. That's Jason Zimmerman, their head coach, in his sixth season in Atlanta. It's Julian Person for three. Clements kept it alive, but Emory brings it down. Jake Davis will bring it down to Michael Florin, and he's got, well, I thought he was going to get his seventh point. He's got all five so far for Emory. A little hard off the glass, and McLaughlin with the rebound. There's that trap. 
Fowler in the corner. And Jordan Dean stepped on that far sideline. So Case will turn it over. Ed, they cannot get into an offensive flow right now. Credit Emory's defense. And very quick. Switching very well. Jake Davis with a ball fake, 15-footer from the foul line, missed it long. And McLaughlin comes down with a rebound for Case. It's Austin Fowler, far side. Or near side from our camera angle. <laughs> that was a, sh a pass off the backboard. And that, I believe, that is five straight turnovers for yeah, Case. I don't think Case is... Gotten a look at the basket yet. Three in the air short for McPherson Moore. Another rebound by McLaughlin. Fowler spots up a three in front of the Emory bench. He misses it short. Julian tips it to Brian Clements, though. Julian Person with a nice heads up tip. And Bryant Clements is the first two points of the night. That's Davis short on the leaner. But Emery comes down with that rebound. Michael Florin, he's got five. Clements with the follow. Bryant Clements gets a rebound. I guess the way Case has played on the offensive set, it's a good thing that Emory can't get into their rhythm offensively either. Jordan Dean draws the defense, kicks it to his teammate, and the lefty makes it. Dane McLaughlin averages 14 points, gets his first two of the night. You're exactly right, Ed. This game could be 15 to four instead of five to four. Nice hard work inside by Michael Friedberg. Jordan Dean with the basketball for Case. And Jordan threw it away. Two on one break. Julian Person and Austin Fowler kept coming, and Austin's going to pick up the foul. First foul for Fowler, third team foul. Case with Tim Chung and David Thompson waiting to check in. At the foul line, leaning into that free throw was McPherson Moore. Also in the game for Case, Jimmy Holman. Ed, this will be our first look at Jimmy Holman. Freshman backup point guard who Coach uh, McDonald's very high on. Emory also made some substitutions around. They brought in three players. Moore's second free throw, and this one's also good. Will Trawick is in for Emory, along with Josh Shetty. And Case calls a timeout. Spartans down five with 14-12 left to play opening half. We'll be back at Horsburg Gymnasium after this. Attending a Spartan Athletic event and looking for a convenient and upscale hotel to accommodate your stay? Then look no further than the Double Tree by Hilton Cleveland Downtown Lakeside. Just minutes away from campus at 1111 Lakeside Avenue, the hotel features a state of the art fitness center, stadium three bar and grill, attached parking, heated indoor pool, free wireless internet, complimentary shuttle service, and a warm Double Tree cookie upon checking in. Call 216 241 5100 to receive a discounted rate of just $99 for the 2013 season. The Double Tree by Hilton Cleveland Downtown Lakeside, a proud sponsor of Spartan Athletics. That's Jimmy Holman in the backcourt for Case. Holman, a freshman out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, Pioneer High School. Averaging seven points, two rebounds, three assists per game. 
Chung in the corner in front of that Emory bench. Julian Person. We're talking about Pioneer High School. Their football stadium is literally opposite corners from the big house at the University of Michigan. So they play in the shadows. The shadows of whatever. That's right. <laughs> Use your own adjective. It'll, it'll change depending on location. That's if right. If you're a fan of Ohio State or Michigan. Julian Person with a ball fake. Nice feed to McLaughlin underneath. And Dane didn't get it, but he drew the foul. Foul's going to be on Josh Shaddy, his first. McLaughlin at the line this year, outstanding, 82%. Dane McLaughlin, a biology major here at Case. One of two biology majors on this team. Austin Fowler, the second one. Dane's got four points. Case is down three, it's 9-6. Just over six minutes gone in this opening half. Julian Person with those long arms. Yeah, we've talked about that last year. Really changes the dynamics on the perimeter. Here comes Chung the other way for Case. Ball stolen by Emery, here come the Eagles. One on two break, lays it up and in. Nice strong move by McPherson Moore to the basket. He's got four of the 11 for Emery. David Thompson, first time I believe, touched the ball. That's Chung, he can shoot it. Drives, glass, and he drew the foul. Fouls on McPherson Moore, that is his first. Three team fouls on Emery. Austin Fowler set to check in for Case. So Chung is at the foul line, 74% free throw shooter. He'll get two. Junior out of Los Alamitos High School in Cypress, California. Trent Austin Fowler replaces Julian Burson for Emery. Austin Fowler's in, Julian Person is out. Fowler scoreless as a starter, and Julian yet to score as well. Chung makes the second free throw. His first points of the night, and the Spartans are down four. Working that block is Davis, and Emery's going to lose the basketball. Over and back call, and Case will take over. Jimmy Holman with the basketball. Holman, six foot, 157 pounds. He's a freshman. Gets it stolen. Here comes Emery. Austin Fowler with a block. Up against the glass. Fowler the other way. Baseline drive, and he gets his shot block. Austin was feeling it. Austin sporting the blue socks tonight. Fowler, the lone senior. It's a good look at Austin. Captain. In his third season with Case. That's Holman, the left-handed freshman. Loses the basketball. Here comes Emery on the break. That's Michael Florin, the sophomore. Florin scored five early points for Emery. And the Eagles are off to an 11-7 lead. Dane left his feet. I'm not sure who the foul is going to go on. I think David Thompson's going to pick up the foul. David Thompson. Thompson drawn into that one because uh, McLaughlin went for the ball fake, left his feet. And Thompson tried to come down on support and that part of the body. Friedberg's going to get two free throws. He is a 79% foul shooter, misses this one short. Michael Friedberg, heck of a player for Emory. 
Coach McDonald really likes his game. He said, you know, in the past, Emory was always a perimeter team, weak in the post. He said, right now with Friedberg, Davis, and Foster, they are very strong in the post. Friedberg makes the second. 12-7, five-point lead. It's 5-0 to start the game, Emory. <laughs> Michael Florin knocked Jimmy Holman into the scorer's table with such gusto that it actually knocked the scorer's table back. And uh, Coach McDonald was hoping that a foul would be called, and there was one. Lob inside to Thompson, controls. Nice job by David, but his shot got blocked. Loose ball, Thompson gets it back. Working inside, banging hard, short. Nice job that time defensively by Michael Friedberg. Thompson talking to himself, also looking for a foul. Spots up a three, long three from the top of the key, and that's Emory Jake Davis. 15-7 Eagles, eight-point lead, largest of the night. Austin Fowler strong inside, missed it, kicked out. Holman with a three. Brian Clements kind of plays like Anderson Verejao. There's the freshman. What a strong move. Jimmy Holman with his first two. <laughs> Traveling call. Jimmy Holman did a nice job of cutting across and doubling up on that post move. I think oh. created the travel. Well, he did as he as he came down for support. The step through was what got the call for the travel. Holman did a nice job of cutting cutting down the lane, and that ball got knocked away. Holman just got it back, chung down the floor to Fowler. Fowler in front of that Emory bench. Austin Fowler, baseline, off the glass. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds, or they're going to call a foul. Foul on Fouls on Emory. Yep. Foul's going to go on Josh Shetty. Oh, they're going to credit McPherson Moore. 13. Okay. And for Moore, that's his, his second. second. Fowler got away with a walk. Austin Fowler's two, first two points of the night. Fouls on Holman. On the break was Florin. Fouls on Jimmy Holman is first. Florin back at the foul line. Emory 4-5 from the foul line tonight. Lauren from Long Island Lutheran High School in Port Washington, New York. Sophomore guard leads the team with five assists per game. His free throws are flat, though, and he missed them both. That one rattled around. So Holman, the freshman, will face Florin, the sophomore. That's Chung. Back to Holman. Thompson faces the basket. Good pass, good. Clements inside, good. soft hook, rolls, and drops. Yeah. Emory quickly down the floor. And David Thompson is going to draw the foul. Well, Thompson was moving away and still got called David for the Thompson, foul. Second person, team six. Emory's son, 23. Tough call. Thompson not aggressive at all was giving giving ground and still got called for the for the block. That's David second. Grevin gets the hoop and he'll look for the three point play. Alex Grevin from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Reynolds R. J. Reynolds High School. Grevin is three. Lead is at five now for Emory. It's 18-13. Holman in the backcourt needs some help. McLaughlin gets it to him. They give it right back to the freshman. 
Left hand dribble, he'll break pressure. Emory wanted a 10 second call. Coach Zimmerman is um, on the sideline calling for it. In the meantime, Brian Clements comes in from the left baseline and lays it up and in. He's got six. That's Florin, near side, on the wing. He'll swing it in front of that case bench. Grevin with it, the foul line, left hand dribble. 18-15, Spartans down three. Chung with defense. Shot missed, but the follow goes. Nash-O. Followed his own miss with a make, and the Emory lead goes back to five. It's 20 to 15, 840 left to play opening half. Fowler gets run over. Very aggressive first half. Case is going to keep it. Two players will check in. Jordan Dean along with Julian Person. Julian Person and Jordan Dean check back in. Jimmy Holman and Brian Clements check out. Both good work by those two young men. Clements a sophomore, Holman a freshman. Clements had six points. Dean inbounds to Julian Person. Back to Jordan. Jordan drives in, missed the layup. Fowler missed the foul. That's Dean McLaughlin. McLaughlin has six. Dean tried to change hands, couldn't get it to go. McLaughlin there to clean up the mess and pick up the bucket. Three in the air, missed. Chung with the rebound. Florian with the shot. And again, Ron, you picked it up at the line. That shot as well was flat from behind the arc. Foul's going to go against Nash O. That'll be his first. Five team fouls on Emory. Case has six. Spartans with a three could tie this game. Austin Fowler controls for Case. Fowler with a spin. Shot was blocked, and here comes Emery. Nice job defensively that time by Michael Friedberg. He's done a nice job on that end of the floor this entire first half. Stood his ground, and Fowler with a couple of twists, but never gave up. That's Josh Shaddy, left unattended. That was too easy. He's got two. Jordan Dean with double team trap trouble. Gets wow. it off to McLaughlin. And Dean's a lefty. And that was his shot right there. Left handed scoop reverse. McLaughlin has eight. That's Grevin. Drives, person with a block. Chung the other way. Timmy Chung's going to kick it out to Fowler. Long three, misses. And Friedberg down with a rebound. Here comes Alex Grevin for Emery. Grevin quickly down the floor to his backcourt teammate, or Florin quickly down the floor to his backcourt teammate, Alex Grevin. And Grevin's got five. Jordan Dean the other way, and Jordan loses the basketball, but he'll be tripped out and a foul, or tripped up and a foul will be called. Michael Florian going to pick up the foul. Second on Florian. It's Florian heading the heading to the bench for Emory. Florian, one of the leaders of this Emory Eagle basketball team. He's their. Leader on the outside perimeter, at least. He's averaging five assists per game. And this is Chung. Over to Jordan Dean. Inside six minutes to play, opening half. Case is down five. Brian Clements will check back in. Austin Fowler will get a break. 
Clement's back in. He started tonight. He's got six points. It's one better than his season average. This is Chung. Tim spots up a three. Got fouled, and it'll count. Wow. Rarity here, an opportunity for a four-point play. Tim Chung with 26 threes on the season. And he completes the four-point play. Off the bench, he's second on the team in three-pointers made. Dane McLaughlin has 33. He leads the team. Case down a point, 24-23. Strong drive. Nice floater that time. Davis Rowell. Tim Chung, long three. Friedberg with the rebound. Oh, there's a, oh, walk. There's a walk. Wow. Yeah. He took like four steps. Oh. <laughs> Alex Grevin. He's got seven. Case is down five. They had cut it to a point. It was 24-23. Dane McLaughlin, boy, that, that young man has a beautiful shot. Really have enjoyed watching him play last year as a freshman, and this is our first chance at seeing him as a sophomore. He's got 10, Ed. Case down three, 28-25. Nice ball movement and feed. A little left-handed reverse layup, ball's loose, and Tim Chung comes up with a hustle. Here comes Jordan Dean the other way. Dean thinks about Clements, gets it into him, and I think Michael Friedberg is going to pick up a foul. Friedberg yeah. was kind of hooking. Okay. Yep. Friedberg's first foul. He was playing in front of Clements. And as Clements stepped out for the drop-in pass, Friedberg gave him a little arm bar and didn't let him come through. It's a shot of Brian Clements. 6'7", sophomore forward out of Willoughby Hills South High School there in Willoughby. Two players check in for Emory. Michael Florin is back in, along with Michael Friedberg. Florin's got the basketball. Kicks it to Grevin. Just like that, Alex Grevin hits another three. He's got 10 first half points. Leads at six for Case, Emory. Case will close, and Emory then quickly opens it back up. Foul's going to be on Will Trawick. Nine team fouls on Emory. Dane McLaughlin will be at the foul line. McLaughlin will get the one and one. That is a miss. rare sight. 82% yeah. uh -oh. free throw shooter. Tops on the team. Case is a very good free throwing team. Clements working hard on defense against Davis. Another walk. Oh, Davis shifting the pivot foot. Grevin got the feed from Davis. He's got 12. Case wants a timeout. We'll take one, too. Case is down eight with 3.28 left to play opening half. We'll be back. This year, Qdoba will cater like 10,000 parties. Where? When? I'm there. Well, these parties are hypothetical. I was just talking about Qdoba catering. Hot taco bars with fire-grilled chicken and marinated steak, flour tortillas and taco shells. You'll also get their hand-smashed guacamole, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and salsa. They'll deliver to your home or office, and they'll even set it up. Can I bring a guest? Oh, boy. 
Visit Qdoba.com today for more information about Qdoba Catering. Qdoba Mexican Grill. More to explore. The Spartan cheerleaders. Nice atmosphere here tonight at Horsburgh Gymnasium. We've got the Shaw Cardinal pep band on hand. The Spartan cheerleaders, a nice home crowd on the student side. Opposite side of our camera. And the Case Spartans playing a tough battle with the Emory Eagles right now. It'll be a tough weekend for Case. Rochester comes to town on Sunday, Ed. Yeah, highly ranked and undefeated. 14-0 are the Yellow Jackets. Undefeated in conference play. They're in Pittsburgh tonight taking on Carnegie Mellon. Case beat Carnegie Mellon to open the conference season by three. Trying to get their second conference win tonight. Jimmy Holman off the bench in to replace Jordan Dean. Holman will take over on Michael Florin. That drive and miss that time by Trawick. And Holman will bring it down for Case. Spartans need a bucket, down eight. Three minutes left to play, opening half. Chung thought about it. Screen by Clements. Top man is McLaughlin. Three's in the air, and it's good. He's got 13. Leads all scores. Tipped off by Jimmy Holman off to the miss. Emery keeps it. Here comes Florin with it. Davis with it. They kick it out to Trawick. Emery with the basketball. Inside, approaching two minutes. Grevin gets it blocked. Holman comes up with a loose ball. Holman over to McLaughlin. Another three in the air. Dead Bingo. On. You got to find that young man. He's got 16. Case was down eight a minute ago. Now it's a two-point game. Make it four is Jake Davis. Hits the turnaround. 140 left to play opening half. Assistant coach Jeff Gorski will join us quickly at the end of the half. Julian Person for three. Ball movement is outstanding right now for Case. Three possessions in a row. They hit wide open threes. Davis with it. Working against Clements. Bryant gets the block. Fathead goes up. <laughs> Case with an opportunity to take their first lead of the night. Emery's led throughout. Tim Chung with it, right baseline. Kicks it out and kicked it too far. Jimmy Holman with a great save. I thought that was an over and back, but Jimmy Holman oh, yeah. leaped at half court and saved it. Chung for three, this one's short. Yeah, Holman planted just short of the line, got in the air, and threw it back. Three. Trawick with a tip, missed it. McLaughlin down with a rebound. 25 seconds left. Holman in the backcourt with Florin on him. They have made Jimmy Holman work for everything he gets tonight. That's Timmy Chung with it now, left wing. Chung double teamed, dribbles out of the trap. Kicks it to Julian Person. Now that's McLaughlin, 18-footer, fouled. He'll get two. Oh. Case with a chance to take the lead with six seconds to play. Will Trawick fouls McLaughlin. Dave McLaughlin, two of three from the foul line tonight. He's got 16 points, nearly half of the points for Case. Make it 17. 
It was 33-25 just minutes ago. Case hit three consecutive three-pointers, two from McLaughlin. And now have a chance to take their first lead. Four seconds left. This is Grevin. He'll step up, hit a three, and it was blocked by Julian Person. Julian Person is two blocks in the first half for 32 on the season. Well, after 20 minutes, nothing decided, Ron. 